Lose the lakes. Looks like it's high tide. I think I said earlier the last time I was here is probably a good 30 years ago, if not even longer. And Churros Heads is, as it sounds, is on the coast. To the east you've got the ocean. And north and south you're surrounded by the lakes. Yeah, some of these houses with the lake views would be great. And if I remember rightly, this bit of road here, when it get to the bottom, it curves around to the left and you're on the lake. Yep, right on the lake. I don't know if it's got a name or is it just Turos Lakes? Definitely high tide. 80 kilometres an hour, now we're dropping down to 60. And because last time I was here, I don't recall any houses being built here. There may have been one or two Churros heads. Although some of them do look like they've been there for a while. Yes, I do remember these houses here on the left. You can tell by looking at the style of them, the architecture there. Been there a good while. I remember those being there. certainly grown so I do remember a few of these houses on the side of the road but further down I don't remember there being many houses down toward the ed edge of the lake I guess there was I, know, I had a school buddy that used to live out here come in to school every day on the bus and uh, I can't remember where he lives I know he lived here but I can't remember where his house was maybe if I ride past it I'll remember unfortunately that friend has departed he's no longer with us nice guy The other thing I remember are these pine trees. There's one of the lakes further down. Looks like it's low tide down there. Can't be. Can't be high tide on one and low, low tide on the other. GPS was telling me to turn right here because that's the destination I set, but I'm going to keep going straight ahead. I can honestly say I don't have a lot of memories of um, these streets. So I think when I came out here, I used to go to my mate's house, and that was about it. I'll keep going a bit further. I would think that most of these houses probably weren't built when I came out here as a schoolboy. Mind you, that's 50 years ago. Country club. Hmm. Look, 
coming out here going to the Tweedhead Bowls Club. So I guess I was 18. Had to be at least 18 to get in. I can remember that. I didn't even know they had a golf club. Look at this beautiful beach. Oh, get gorgeous. Nice little mobility scooter he's got there. Oh, can you imagine uh, how nice it'll be with these houses? Look at the colour of the ocean. Wow. Little turquoise blue. Yeah, some of these places are nice. You've got a bit of protection from the winds when they come up with these big pine trees. Real nice look out. Hello ladies. I can imagine these houses here on the right with their vista would be worth a penny, pretty penny. It used to be a general store, I'm not quite sure where it was. I sort of thought, thought it was along here but maybe it was a bit further up and around. I know whoever owned it, I can't even remember what his name is now, but I know he was a friend of my father's, they used to play golf together. Now, from time to time Dad had come out here and visit him. I remember coming out several times with Dad. If I was on my best behaviour, Dad would buy me a paddle pop. And this lot, some of the old houses here look like they've been here for a while and I guess this is the old part of Churros Heads. But where my friend lived, he lived up high up, you can view the lake. Couldn't see the beach so it must be on the other side of this headland here on the right somewhere. Little shopping centre by the look of it. I know my dad's mate that had this, it was a little general store, it was only a little wooden building. Uh, maybe it's been knocked down, and could have even been when that shopping centre was, it's been knocked down, I don't know. Although it seems like it was around here, but nothing that's familiar. Anyway, I guess it must have been back there because I don't think it was up here. I think the battery's died on the GoPro, so I better stop and have a quick look. Stop up here somewhere I can. This will do it. Stop in the shade and have a look. Mm -hmm. Still might be going. Might be going. Got it plugged into a power bank, so the power bank's freshly charged, so it goes bloody hours and hours and hours, half a day. And I think I've still got at least six hours recording on the GoPro before the memory card's full, so it should be recording, unless it's frozen, and that's a possibility with the GoPro. Alright, let's turn left.
got a view of the ocean. And I think that island out there is maybe Montagu Island off the rumour. Maybe. I have to talk to my friend Google Maps to confirm that, but maybe. Park down there. I remember going there once for, with my dad for some business, I think, don't know why. Very nice, beautiful lawn. Yeah, maybe that shop of my dad's friend was up here somewhere, it's starting to look familiar, but certainly doesn't look like there's any shop here. Long, too long ago, when I came out here with my dad to visit his friend, I probably would have been about 10 or 12, probably not even 12, probably 10. I remember coming out here a few times. Mm. Oh, nice houses here. But, I guess they've lost their view because of the foliage, the trees, but on the other hand, they've Whenever the wind picks up, they've got a nice windbreak. If I recall rightly, if I keep following this road, I should get to where my mate lived. He had a view, it was quite up high his house, and he had a view, steep driveway down to it. And you could have a view of the lake. You couldn't see the ocean, you could see the mountains, so you looked at that, the lake and the mountains. Oh no, that's where I wanted to go. Because that's where I reckon the mate was, up there somewhere. Disappointing. I'm pretty sure that's where his house was. Anyway, it is what it is. Yeah. GPS is telling me to go left. Road closed. That's probably because it takes me onto the one I just turned off. Nice out here. the way to go, I've got no choice. That lady's doing a good job mowing that lawn. Big job too. Big yard. Beautiful house, beautiful lawn. Wow. Oh. through the road, well it's fine. Oh, this is the way I came in. I'm pretty sure I went straight ahead there, down. Yeah, that's where I came in. I'll stop here and reset the GPS. For whom? Favorites. This 
sister's house. There's a map of Turo Seeds and where we are, so we've sort of driven around down here and back, I guess. More houses over here. You see, so, got a lake, Turo Seeds, lake, and another lake. And the map here shows that it's blocked off, but it's actually open to the sea, so. Drive out to Maria Heads. See what we can see. Main Beach, Maria. What have we got? 26 kilometres away, 24 minutes. Let's go for a drive to Maria Heads. And Churros, what is 26 minutes, 24? 26 kilometres, 24 minutes. Still recording. And I think that's where it would have taken me up to my friend's house up around there. Which is a shame I can't go there. Maybe you know, this road would have taken it, joined on. Yeah, that's, the, that's it, that's the way I used to go to my mate's house. Oh well, next visit. Well, got a lucky day, a glorious day. We were lucky to have this beautiful day to come out to Churros Heads. Alright, where are we going? We're going around to the left. That's where I went down there, didn't I? So the mountains you can see in the distance is that's the Great Dividing Range. And this part of the country, the Great Dividing Range, is quite close to the coast of the ocean. Probably got in certain parts probably got about 20 to 30 k's from the coast to you hit the Great Dividing Range. Hope you enjoyed that short video, that short ride around Churros Heads. If you're on the south coast of New South Wales, might get your business to come out and have a look. Worth it. So pretty. It's just south of Maruya, north of Naruma. Can't miss it if you have a look at the map. Churros Heads. And definitely worth a visit. So thanks for watching. You know the drill. Don't forget to subscribe and share. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.